Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. I am the part-time economist and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to crop out an item from a video in Caden Live based on its position within the video frame. So if you're new to Caden Live you know that you can use the edge crop to cut off the left, the right, the top, or the bottom. But what if there's an item in the middle of your video clip that you want to get rid of or maybe you just want to change the saturation of a very small area within your video frame. That is what I'm going to be showing you how to do in today's video. I will say that I know everyone comes to these videos with different levels of knowledge. So I'm going to start off with some basics. It's going to be review. If you are an advanced user of Caden Live, I will put a timestamp so you can skip ahead just to the portion where we are cropping out a specific area of the screen, uh, but it's only going to take a couple minutes and I really think it will be helpful for you to watch the introduction as well so you understand why we need this technique. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I just have a sample clip here me talking in front of a makeshift green screen. So I've got the green screen and that needs to go. I've got the wall that needs to go. I've got this little peach square. Again, that needs to go. And the end goal is to essentially pull me out of the video and have me talking in front of this background. So let's go ahead and use some of the common techniques that you might find. So if we go to this effects tab and type edge, we can drag and drop this edge crop onto the video clip. Now that does pretty good for cropping large areas. So we can get rid of the top, we can get rid of the left, we can get rid of the right. Now the problem here is that if we try to get rid of the peach it starts cutting off my shoulder which we do not want. So that's a good starting point. We can go to chroma key, so C-H-R-O-M-A. We can drag and drop this basic chroma key. When we click on it, it will bring up the options, or if it doesn't automatically bring it up, you can click on this effect and composition stack. It will give you the options. We click here on this eyedropper to select the color we want to remove, and that's a pretty good starting point, right? It removes the green screen. Now we can change how much green we want to remove. If we remove too much, it starts getting rid of me. If we don't remove enough, then there's too much green that's left. So we're just going to leave it pretty much at the default. So let's just do the same thing to this peach color and let's see what happens. Well, if we try to do the same thing with the peach color, we run into an issue because that peach color is very close to the color of my skin. And when we do a chroma key effect in Caden Live, it looks at the entire video frame, right? So we don't want that. We need specifically just to remove based on the position or maybe we can't even select by color. Maybe we're doing some kind of a vlog and there is a road sign or a license plate or something like that where chroma key wouldn't even really pick it up. So we need to remove things based on their location in the video. And this is something I didn't know how to do for years, but it is incredibly simple and I'm glad that I figured it out. So all you're going to do, go to the effects tab. You're going to search for alpha. And then what you're going to do is you are going to select the one that says alpha shapes. So let's go ahead, drag and drop that onto our timeline. And what we're going to do is we're going to start adjusting this little box. And all that we need to do is just adjust this so that it covers the area we want to get rid of. Then when we click on the effect and composition stack, we need to scroll down and we need to change this operation from right on clear to subtract. And what that is going to do is it says, look, anything in this area, pull it out of the video, right? Doesn't matter what color it is. As long as it's in this area, pull it out of the video. Now, we can change this from a rectangle. We can change it to other shapes to select things a little bit more easily. So we can change that to an ellipse. We can change to a triangle, a diamond, whatever you're looking for. But that is really good because, again, we don't have to rely on color. We can remove things based on their position in the video. I will show a couple more examples as well as other things that are kind of related to this. But I wanted to take a quick break to say that if 
if you do find this tutorial helpful, it would totally help if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, or if you want an in-depth tutorial on Caden Live, I do offer courses on Udemy as well as Skillshare, which I will put the links in the description of the video. Alrighty, so with that self-promotion out of the way, let's go ahead and get into a couple more examples and let's make things a little bit more advanced. So let's suppose I have this TV screen here and I want to replace this boring TV screen with a video of the ocean. Again, process very simple. We're gonna to go to the effects tab, drag and drop this alpha shapes. We're just going to move it to the area that we wanna get rid of. And let's go here and here. Let's make sure we keep as much of the outer shell of the TV as we can. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and click here. Let's scroll down again. We're going to change this to subtract. And now what happens is we have this video of the ocean. Now, one thing you'll notice is that we're kind of looking at the sky here, which isn't what we want. So let's go back down to this ocean tab. Let's go to effects. Let's go to transform T R A N S F. Okay. Let's go ahead, drag and drop that. And now what we can do is we can adjust this so that we have that ocean in the TV screen. So that's pretty cool. That's how you can remove things. But what if you want to apply an effect to a specific area of the video? So let's suppose we wanted to change the saturation as an example, and we wanted to change the saturation just of a specific area. Or let's suppose that we wanted to change the color balance, right? How would we do that? Well, we do have to use a slightly different command for that. The way that you do that is a little bit different. We use something known as the rotoscoping tool. So go to your effects tab and find the rotoscoping mask. Go ahead and drag and drop that onto the video clip. And what it says is start right clicking to add in these points. Now you're probably thinking, I'm just gonna right click, outline this and everything will be good. In reality, as soon as you make that fourth click, it's going to cut you off and you're probably thinking this isn't super helpful. How do I add uh, more points? Well, all you have to do is put your cursor on the line and I know it's hard to see, but you'll see this little blue dot double click and that will add an additional node. So we can add additional nodes as needed to make more complex shapes. Now to adjust the curvature of the shape, we use these little lines and when we do this, it makes things more straight or less straight. So I'm just showing you a simple square example here. If we had a figure that we were wanting to crop out that had lots of different points on it, we would just double click, double click, double click and keep adding as many points as we needed to trace the outline of the figure. So what we have here, again, the basic TV screen, the rotoscoping tool tells Caden Live, this is the area that I want you to focus on, but we've not actually told it what we want it to do. So for that, we need to go back and find an effect that we want to use. Uh, let's just suppose, let's do something with colors. So let's adjust the color balance. And again, you can pick whatever effect you need. Um, we're gonna adjust the color balance. So we drag and drop that. And let's add a red shadow. Let's do a green shadow. Let's do a blue shadow. Let's just, we're just really trying to uh, make it so you can totally see a difference here, right? We want it to be clear that we're changing something. So this still isn't what we want because the rest of our clip is non-existent. So we have told the rotoscoping tool, this is where I want you to focus. We have added an effect that says, this is what I want you to do. Now we have to actually apply that. And the way that we do that is go to A-P-P-L-Y and we drag and drop this mask apply on to the clip. So what that does is it applies just to that area that we have selected. Like I said, we could change this for anything. So if we wanted to outline this person's jacket with lots and lots of different double clicks to add nodes, we could do that. We could change the color of their jacket, a lot of different things. So um, like I said, that is something I didn't know how to do for years and I just figured it out yesterday. And my first thought was, oh my goodness, I have to share this because 
it's something that can be incredibly useful, especially for removing specific areas of a video that you can't really get to with Chroma Key. So I do hope you found the video useful. Like I said, if you feel like checking out some of my courses, that would be totally awesome. But even if you don't, that is fine as well. I do appreciate you watching the video and I will see you next time.